So hello guys, today we're going to talk about uh, creating and managing a share mailbox on a Microsoft 365. I hope I can help you and uh, if I do please uh, subscribe the channel and leave a like on the on the video, it's a very important uh, way to to support my work and uh, help me with this um, with these videos. So let's start we have to first we have to do a login as admin on office 365 and after that we need to go to uh, the am admin center here on the left and um, wait a bit to this for this to open and we need to enter now we're gonna show all and we need to enter on exchange uh, admin center. I will explain on the new new exchange admin center. This is uh, 2023 and so for that we have to go to mailboxes and we need to add a shared mailbox here. So I will do Let's put just shared and it will be shared. Here you put the name of the share mailbox you want. So I'm going to put this one and I will open in system administration. Okay, here you don't have to put nothing, but if you want to, to put an alias, you can put it. It's uh, up to you. I will not do it. Okay, so we created a uh, shared mailbox, everything is uh, cool, everything is fine. Now we're gonna open and uh, we we're gonna go here on delegation and we have two type of delegations. So we, we have the send as uh, permission, so it allows the person to, to send as the shared mailbox this is good for, for example, if you have an info mailbox and you don't want to spend a license on that. So we, you create a shared mailbox with the name of info and you give to several different persons that are managing the, the share mailbox to the permission to send as. So they can reply as a um, as a info uh, name, not a personal mailbox. And we have the read and manage and a full access to the, the share mailbox. The full access is uh, good if you want to open the share mailbox on the outlook of that person and that person to be able to manage the full extension of the share mailbox, like deleting emails, uh, <coughs> do um, agenda profiles, agenda appointments, everything on the mailbox it's going to be doing by the full access. I will give full access. So I want to give to my uh, mailbox and I'm going to save it and confirm. So the permissions are added to, to these mailboxes. This is not uh, instant, so it takes some time to reply this information. It will not be uh, instant, uh, instantly applied. I created another share mailbox here with admin. It what it calls admin. This one it I give the same permissions so you can uh, check it here it's a one it's the same mailbox so I don't have to wait for the the replication time and to show you now how to open on your outlook I will change here for the outlook and it has you can see it's already here and this one was open 
automatically here I didn't do nothing and it's supposed to happen like that way but in some cases it will not happen this way force force this kind of uh, opening or situation you can come here and account settings and here on account setting settings you need to double click on this you go next oh sorry you need to change here or, or double click it's the same and more more uh, options here not next sorry so here the share mailbox open e open automatically if you have this option here applied and you can put the share calendars as well i had it before that's why the admin it's here automatically but i take it off for show you guys how to do it so the other mailbox didn't appear here so i simulate the arrow for you to to see if you want to force edit you can use this and for example in our case will be shared at uh, systems and I will not do this because I want it to open automatically but if it doesn't open automatically you can force it to open here so let's just apply here they say you have to restart that's normal okay you you need to do this until the end so done so now it's applied the the configurations we still don't have it here the um, the other mailbox let's try just close and open again and see if it opens automatically if it doesn't open it's because of time replication let's see okay it's still not here but you don't have to worry about it will open that's for sure let's me try to okay that's not a problem I will do it um, if you want to oh there you go it open automatically so you have to wait a little bit for this to to be synchronized here and there you go this is share a mailbox uh, now you can um, for example new email and you need to to send as this shared mailbox if you do like this you don't have uh, the option here you need to add the option from see to show from because now the from is from your name it's normal if I send email it comes from my name and now you can uh, put other mailbox here and let's put for example shared because it's this last one or admin it's the same and we do systems administration okay he'll receive it and now it added here the share my box and i can do a test for uh, my gmail for example and it's a test um, mess message hello and just send it and let me show you how we will receive this um, this email I still didn't receive 
oh I will not receive because uh, sorry about that guys because by the NES are not uh, well configuration uh, configured on these because uh, the domain it's uh, it's not good but uh, but don't worry this is correct and um, yeah it, it gives all yeah have the the error message because my DNS are not good don't worry this will uh, work for you and uh, if you have any doubts please contact me send a message uh, leave a comment on the video and thanks very much for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe the channel bye see you in the next uh, video